All right, so this is Justin Williams Savoy, and I am taking a look at this book, My Journey into the Wu-Tang Raw. Lamont Ugod Hawkins. I've had this book for a little while. It's part of my collection of hip-hop um, biographies, autobiographies. So, it says, Ugod has been with the Wu-Tang since the start, and this book chronicles the entire saga Rough Beginnings in Brooklyn, A Vivid Project, Adolescence in Staten Island, and A Glorious Leap into the Insanely Talented Collective that Would Become the Center of the Music Universe, Quest Love. The Wu-Tang Clan are considered hip-hop royalty. Remarkably, none of the founding members have told their story until now. Lamont Ugod Hawkins was born in Brownsville, New York in 1970, raised by a single mother and forced to reckon with the hostile conditions of project life. Ugod learned from an early age how to survive. And surviving in New York City in the 1970s and 80s was no easy task, especially as a young black boy living in some of the city's most ignored, destitute districts. But along the way, he met and befriended those who would eventually form the clan's core. Rizza, Jizza, Method Man, Raekwon, Old Dirty Bastard, Inspect the Deck, Ghostface Killer, and Master Killer. Brought up by the streets and bonding over their love of hip-hop, they sought to pursue the impossible music as their ticket out of the, out of the ghetto. They, they sought to pursue the impossible music as their ticket out of the ghetto. You God's unforgettable first person account of his journey from the streets of Brooklyn to some of the biggest stages around the world is not only thoroughly affecting, unfiltered, and explosive, but also captures in vivid detail the making of one of the most of one of the greatest acts of American music history. Propulsive, Hawkins reflects on his childhood, a period when drugs exacerbated the violence of the streets and the heady years of the fame that followed, revealing a man grateful for the music that saved his life, Esquire. Ra feels cathartic. He has often been forgotten and has sometimes been ridiculed, but he was part of the great hip-hop groups of all times, perhaps the only member who is more man than myth. You God's book sits in a tradition that runs from Brooker T. Washington's Up from Slavery to Charles Mingus's Beneath the Underdog, accounts of African American striving and transcendence, which remind us that it's like what it's like to live and survive and prosper in a world set up to, to crush you. As such, it's essential reading and not just for hip hop fans. So here's the book. I will begin to read this book and review it. Take a look at the inside of this and the table of contents. <clears throat> Started off on the island, growing up on the crime side. Rumbly, the five percenters, hip hop was our way of life. Crack hits the hill, it's yours. Cash rules everything around me. Enter the Wu Tang turbulence on the inside, headed up north. When you come home, saber tooth tiger in the booth, the night the earth cried, redemption, tour life, cracks in the foundation, the legacy, and acknowledgments. So I'm going to take a look at this book, give it a good read. This is a short video just to introduce um, some new things that I'm going to be doing on my channel, talking about um, some of the hip hop biographies that I have and reviewing them as I read them and my thoughts about them. This is Justin Williams Savoy. You can reach me as always, SavoyJustin123 at gmail.com. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and all that shit. All right, peace.